Hey guys, welcome back to our Sand City tour, part 4. Uh, this is the presidential manor's view out to his townspeople. Uh, there was there was the skeleton out there for those of you who watched part 3 and alas, the skeleton perished due to his enemy as the sun. It was a sad, a sad, sad death. Anyway, so and also this is the central business district from here. It's, an, it's a lovely view from here, which is why we just quite a prematurely looking at us, but that is not our, our main topic for now. For now we're going to carry on looking. It's, it's not really the residential area. Also there was a spider, which I, I, I slew. So, this is the armory. Now, thanks to Notch doing a 1.7 update of my shelving, uh, they all seem to have disappeared. So, Usually there'll be a leather set, an iron set, and sort of weaponry, so like iron swords, uh, arrows, and uh, bow and arrow and such, but thanks to Notch that's gone. So, anyway, moving on, we have the bank, where, not very, uh, not very well kept, but there's not very many uncivilized and dangerous people who would rob the bank in this sort of area of the town, so it's sort of average sort of bank, really, just to keep your average sort of stuff. Anyway, moving on, we have here the furnace house, which contains a lot of coal, I would expect. A nice little look out to the ocean there. Furnace house for all the towns needs Sandown General Store. Again, Notch's evil 1.72 update has killed me and my shelving units. There was farming equipment, food tools. I spent quite a long time actually on this. I got all the colours of wool, I got all the building blocks, tools, farm equipment, I had the I had the whole lot and then just gone. Yay. Um so yeah, the general store is alas out of resources. Moving on we have Max's house. I don't remember this is Max's house. He's he's claimed ownership apparently of this house. In in all honesty it's it's a pretty shit house. <laughs> anyway, then this is the Wool Emporium, where this time I didn't put them in shelves, I didn't have enough time, but all the sort of colours of the rainbow, and then some which sort of not so nice colours like brown and black and grey, it's colourful colours, dull colours. So this was the Wool Emporium, I like that word, Emporium, it just r reminds me of playing Oblivion. So, anyway, now we're going to be going into the art gallery, which is basically a load of just paintings that's around, but it's a very nice art gallery. You've got a nice see-through roofing. You can't touch them. You're not, you're not allowed to touch the paintings, and you can't see, can't reach. Uh, uh, yeah, can't reach it. So this is the art gallery. And then we have the public library, which has a lovely red decoration flooring. That's so nice. Got a load of bookshelves, seating areas for people who just want to have a nice, quiet, relaxing time reading. Sort of public gathering here where you can sit down and read them. I might just. Yeah, nice. I'm just going to sit here and read a book. Yeah. That's, that's, that's some good reading. So, uh, that's the public library. Okay. On to the next thing. This is the World Craft Center gift shop, which, uh, is those two rather large buildings behind that building and the, st and the cobble building so you haven't seen them yet or well, you have seen them but not in any great detail so uh, yeah th those are them in paintings sort of you can buy lots of stuff from which is relating to the World Craft Center basically anyway on to more interesting stuff this is the courthouse which is a very nice courthouse actually we have where everyone sits we have the judge stands at the top on which we can't actually stand on Shh. That never happened. Where then there'll be the attorney giving his case, saying blah 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 blah. blah. They'll be like, oh my god, and he's like, whoa, okay. And then there's the uh, defendant, or yeah, in his glass box, because he's dangerous. He can, he can speak through this hole, saying, I bleed innocent, please don't kill me, and stuff. Anyway, then this is oh yeah, this is the jury office. Um, where they will collaborate over their decision. Guilty, guilty, innocent, innocent, guilty, fuck off you prick, sort of thing. Um, and they have the exit, they, they have to end, 
they have to entrance on one point, they have to exit on the other, and sort of run around here and take their seats. Oh, it's all rather awkward. There, there wasn't enough space, okay? Don't blame me, there wasn't enough space. And then they'll make their decision. I'm pretty sure you all know how a courthouse sort of works, but, uh, yeah. So, and then last but not least, we have the pilot's accommodation for the pilots who sort of... They all sort of sleep together. It's all a bit odd, really. I mean, they have a double bed. It's a bit, it's a bit weird. But I guess there's just one pilot who goes all around the whole, whole of Minecraft. I think. He's, obviously, he doesn't have that much time to sleep, so that's quite up upsetting on him. So there we have it. This is the residential area done, and this is the sort of, uh, res sort of half residential. It's more all the shops and like banks and stuff like that, it's all kind of come together into one. So, this will conclude part four, and then I'll do a rather large part of the central business district, because it's a very large area, and it'll take a long time. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, part, part four of the Santor visits, and thank you for watching.